Hello YouTube, I'm that one guy with the awesome hat, and as you can see, once again rocking the Spider-Man hat, because today we're talking about what I promised in last episode, Captain America 3 Civil War. Now, if you read or not read, because comics are expensive and they don't sell them cheap, especially when they're really good, and, or like, just somehow understand what happens in the one of the biggest events possibly well not possibly one of the biggest events in general of the Marvel Universe being Civil War where you've got Tony Stark's pro registration, all superheroes should register with the government, Patriot Act, blah blah blah, versus Captain America, Freedom. And we have everybody knows that there's Spider Man right in the middle. Now, if you watch other videos you understand that it was a big deal because everybody loves Spider Man and there are people, and the general consensus is going to go to whichever side Spider-Man is, is the right side, because Spider-Man is good, he is the public figure, and, but that's not the point, um, Spider-Man should definitely be in Civil War, because of how much of an integral part he played, just based on what I was just saying, and the fact that Sony, yeah, got that there, needs to let Marvel and Disney use Spider-Man, even if they want to reboot him for, like, not reboot him, but change actors, because they didn't, they were talking about the reason they don't like it, is because maybe it's Andrew Garfield's fault, but that's, Sony needs to give it to Marvel, because we're starting to lose faith in them. I mean, as you can, if you watch my Amazing Spider-Man 2 video, then you can understand that we were a little bit disappointed with the lack of plot. And character development and character personality and as a whole in the movie when it looked like it would be so awesome but Sony needs to man up and just let Marvel try to fix Spider-Man unless we got this here they do a Spider-Verse movie which we will talk about in the next episode Goodbye, YouTube.